guys, it's Zypher back with another episode of a thing. Back, when I say back, it's actually the first episode, technically, of the Pokemon Sun and Moon randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, in the comment section of my last video, um, by a landslide victory, it was Marshadow. By a landslide. Literally, there was like 75 comments, and about 70 of them said Marshadow. Like, three said Brion, and one guy was like, Cascoon, because why not? And, um, well, yeah. The pull on the card, though, was decently even. Um, it was between Cascoon and Marshadow, but, yeah, no, Marshadow won. Marshadow won by a landslide victory. Like, it, it, it not even close. Um, yes, so I will choose the grass-type Pokemon Rowlet. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get through this whole part right here. I can actually unplug that. It gives me some free range of movement. My DS charger is not all that long. Come on. The reason why I want to get past this part specifically is because I soft resetted for a shiny Rowlet, so that sucked. <laughs> And I'm just not willing to sit through this right now. So I, I just want to get through it as fast as possible. Yep, that is the thing. Yay, we lifted Rowlet into our arms. Cuckoo, gadoo, bagadoo, whatever that means. Uh, having accepted one another, you'll sure be your friends for life. Oh, really? I'll be friends for life with a Rowlet? I thought you meant Marshadow. Yes, we're gonna give, we're gonna give it a nickname to Marshadow. Um, we're gonna nickname it Puppet Master because it looks like a puppet. Make sure I get that M in there. Puppet Master, the Marshadow. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, why are you letting me in? Why are you nicknaming it Marshmallow? It doesn't look like a Marshmallow. It looks like a Marshadow. You guys could probably already tell by the layout, though, that I had Marshadow already in there. So, I mean, obviously, Marshadow is a landslide victory. It's not a surprise. Go back and look at the comments section of the last video. Um, it will probably be at an end card or something on this. Did just go watch it. So, anywho, Kukui is going to give me a gift, which is the Rotom Dex. Yay, Rotom Dex. And a trainer passport, which is very nice because that allows us to get around. Now, what I want you guys to realize is um, it may look really dark on my face cam. It's because I have it partially night and partially day. Yeah, I had it set. I have it set a little bit, so it looks like that. And now we're going to fight how. We are going to fight how. What are you going to have for me, bucka buckaroo? Come on, boy. Fight me. Fight me. I, I've actually been reading up on some of the Pokemon theories. And um, people have been saying that how is the one on the Pokemon Adventure, and we're the rival, which actually makes a lot of sense, because we're ahead of Hal. And in freaking all the other games, the rival's ahead of us. Let the Pokemon battle begin. All right, Hal, I'm so ready for you. I'm gonna beat your face in. I mean, Acerola. I'm gonna beat your face in. Bring it. Oh, that's a toxic croak. Oh, jeez. No. Toxic croak level five versus puppet master level five. I'm gonna go for a force pump. See what happens. Oh, it's not very effective. Can I get a paralysis? Oh, I got a paralysis though. I got a paralysis though. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Huh? Yo, Marshall has leftovers on it! 
What? That's so cool. Um, I'm gonna go for this. I used counter. Get wrecked, Toxicroak. I mean, yes, it's only healing one HP, but one HP could be all the difference in this battle. Uh, is Toxicroak weak to go? Or, like, can go. Is Ghost very, uh, even effective on it? Yeah, no, Toxicroak's dead. Hey, we beat Toxicroak and how? Not bad. Okay, Marshadow? Did not know it was part fighting. Until just now, by the way. I thought Marshadow was a ghost type. So, the fact that we have a ghost fighting type is like, yeah! <laughs> I've never seen that. So, really, it's only real weaknesses are flying and psychic. That's all I really have to watch out for. Could it be? What? What could it be? I can't tell with all the friggin' Caterpies, Weedles, and all this stuff yelling in my ears. Seriously, if you, lis if you listen closely, you can hear the cries of like a thousand different Pokemon in the background. It's, it's insane. Now guys, now that we've already beaten Howl, and, you know, Cosmog has uh, gotten out of the bag, Nebby, get in the bag. Meme, insert, their thing. Um, question of the day. The question of the day that I have for you guys is if you were to be doing this Pokemon Sun and Moon randomizer and you had the choice of Marshadow, Brion, or Cascoon, which one would you have picked? So that is, that is the question of the day. Who would you have picked as your starter out of the three that I got? That'll be, it'll be updated and everything uh, every episode too. So, Ku from the Rowlet, who is actually a Marshadow. It's actually a Marshadow. I think I'm falling in love. So why did you choose this, sweetheart? Because it's cool. Because it's cool. Don't question it, Mom. Don't question me. Meowth. Don't question my Rowlet. Okay? Okay? Thank you for healing me, Mom. Thank you for healing me. That's all I really needed. Now it's time for day two. What a stunning sunset. Yeah, because it's better be nighttime. So I realized when I was doing this, uh, the first episode, that um, my 3DS was set to the wrong time. I had it set to 3 a.m. instead of 3 p.m. Um, when I first started doing this, it is now 9.48 a.m., here, that's what I have my 3DS set to now, so it should be nighttime in the game, finally. Come with you on Route 1. Aye, aye, Cap'n. I'm, I'm sure you have something super important to show me. Here's hoping it's actually nighttime in my game. <clears throat> nope, we have a sunset. Why do we have a sunset? His should be night timing the game. What do you want to show me, Professor Kukui? Hmm. Oh, he's gonna show me how to catch a wild Pokemon. Cool beans. Oh, look, it's a pick a pack. If you guys need to go take a bathroom break or anything, now would be the time to do it. Oh, Rock refused tackle. So strong. Ooh, so strong. You almost killed him. You, know, you, have to, you gotta weaken him up before you try throwing a ball at him? Gotcha there, big dog. Gotcha. Yo, Kukui, share the wealth. Give me some... Give me that 50 Pokeballs. I want that many. Two. Three. Ding. 
Of course you're gonna catch the pick a peck first try. Everything on Route One's 100% capture rate. Yeah, you guys didn't know that. Route One, uh, Route One, 100% capture rate. Oh yeah. What the Pokemon do sometimes attack? Blah 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 blah. blah. They do attack. This is basically what he's telling me. I'm Professor Oak. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Yes. I obtained 10 Pokeballs. I obtained 5 potions. My Marshadow is never gonna die. What am I going to Iki Town for? I don't want to go in the grass. The grass is bad. I will never encounter the grass. No. No, 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 no. I'm actually going to, real quick, I know this is very unprofessional of me, I'm going to go into my 3DS to make sure that the time of day is actually correct. That whole, we're playing Pokemon Moon thing, and I'm getting Pokemon uh, Sun Times, I'm just making sure it's correct. Okay. I went through my DS, put the game forward two hours to make sure it was actually supposed to be nighttime. I guess it's not actually supposed to be nighttime at this part of the game. So, until we pass through Iki Town, no encounters or anything matter. So, we're just going to run through the grass because it's going to guarantee us an encounter. My encounter, my encounter for this route does not matter. What's up, Geodude? My encounter for this route does not matter until after Iki Town. I know I've got Pokeballs and the ability to capture everything now, but I'm going to say it does not count until after Iki Town. Also, I love the fact that Puppet Master has freaking Force Palm. That is amazing. Oh, gosh, we're going to have to fight that little kid, huh? Oh, darn. Ooh, there's Klefkies. So this is basically what this is doing right now, is it's giving me a, a variety of, hey, this is what you can possibly get um, as your first encounter. So I know there's Geodude, I know there's Klefki. Let's get, let's get that potion. And we're gonna have to fight this little dude right here. Come on, little dude. What you what you got for me? Boink. <laughs> this music though. Isn't this the champion music? Oh, your Krakorok got destroyed. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Oh, by the way, Gladian. <laughs> we fought Gladian. That was... That was absolutely random. We had Gladian show up. And we demolished his Krakorok's face. So that was, in fact, the thing. Okay, we got a punk girl. I like how the music was randomized, though. I like that. Ooh, Chingling. Dang, this is like the perfect area for Puppet Master right now. Oh, look, it's only level three. Too bad it's gonna be Shadow Snuck. See ya. Yeah, there's like a, it's like a bunch of rock, dark, and... Uh, psychic types around here, which is like everything just gets destroyed by Marshadow. Come on, my puppet master. Come end their faces. And yes, I do see items and everything. I will be picking those up later. I'm gonna go over here and uh, destroy the little boy in the Vicavolt shirt. Hint, hint, wink, wink for later. Oh, he's got a dust tox. That's probably my biggest threat as of right now. 
Probably the biggest threat I've faced so far. Never mind, it's level four. Oh no! Oh no! Oh wait, actually yes, oh no. I was like, oh no, it's a Gust, and I was like, oh, I'm not scared of Gust. Then I realized, no, Gust is a flying type move. Good, good, good job there, genius. Get Shadow Snuck! Whew! This is so invigorating! Marshadow is actually really strong. What is his base attacks at? 23 right now? Not bad. I didn't even check my nature! What nature Marshadow did I get? Let us find out real quick. So yeah, we do have leftovers. Technician! I'm sorry, what? Powers up po the Pokemon's weaker moves. No wonder my moves are doing so much. Force Palm is base 60. It's, it's 60 and above, right? Shadow Sneak. Pursuit. Okay, so basically don't teach this thing anything. Um, it's a careful nature. Which I believe careful... Doesn't really matter for any of the stats I need. Whatever. Friggin... Oh my god, guys. We have... Technician. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> I would have taught it just a bunch of random moves. I didn't know we had Technician. Well, that's probably why the Toxicrobe died so easily. I was like, man, I'm using like nothing strong against it, and here we are just forning the thing. Alright, so we've got to fight how for the, uh, for the trial. Hey, what's up, how? Come on, let's get this festival underway. I want to destroy Hal's face again. Or wait, Acerola's face again. I guess. Yes, Acerola? Y yeah. Let us begin. And thank God, he heals your Pokemon, because I was about to use a potion. So, this is good. Let us, let us make Tapu Koko happy. By, uh, by fighting. I guess, if you guys want to make Tapu Koko happy, you go do Pokemon battles. Now how? Zephyr. Bring forth the power of your Pokemons. I will show you the power of my Pokemons. I will show you the Mr. Fighting Black Belt. How, man? I will show you the power of my Pokemons. Or Pokem. Yikes. You has Tentacruel. I is scared of that. Oh no, it's only level 6. Whatever shall I do? Um, I'm actually going to force palm you. Paralysis? I know it's not very effective against uh, poison types. Oh god, no, it used charm. Oh, that's the worst thing ever. Oh, that is actually the worst thing ever. Oh, does, does that lower my attack by two? Oh, that lowers my attack by two. What? Mm. Not happy with you right now. Go for the shadow sneaks. Dang, even with a minus two. Come at me, Tentacruel. I will shadow sneak you until the end of time. Why do you know Thundershock? That makes no sense. Oh, that's right. This is a randomizer. Yeah, the moves are randomized, by the way. Um, if you guys didn't see the first episode, the moves are randomized. Uh, so basically, everything that Marshadow knows right now, um, as it starts to level up, it will level up with moves that it, um, like, stab moves. It will learn moves that it can't normally learn. So it could potentially end up learning, like, Water Gun or Razor Leaf or anything like that. 
So who knows what it's gonna learn? Oh bam! Puppet Master grew to level eight. Not bad, Puppet Master. Not bad. Yeah, get that get that health with them leftovers. Oh, an Eevee! Well, this battle's over. This battle is over. Unless it lives a force palm, which oh. My god! Minus three attacks that? Come on. What do you expect me to be? Like the king of freaking attacks? Well, I, then again, I did somehow end up drawing the mythical Pokemon that is Marshadow. Which is adorable, by the way. If you guys want me to, we will we will do a little bit of a uh, a Pokemon refresh session with Marshadow in the next episode. Comment section below, as well as the comment question of the day. Would you guys want me to see? Uh, would would you guys want me to do some Pokemon refresh with Marshadow so you guys can see how adorable it is? Cool. So we got our Z ring. A bunch of stuff is just gonna be explained to us right now that I don't really care about because we already got the Z ring. And we're pretty much just playing through the game at this point. So, let's appease Tapu Koko, all that stuff. The island challenge, yes. We need to take our island challenge. Which is... I don't want to say it's going to be easy. Because, assuming the randomizer works, um, our totem Pokemon should be randomized too. Which is not fun. Because I don't know what the totem... Pokemon is gonna be. I also don't know what the totem Pokemon is gonna be able to call. Y yes, me too. I'm so glad we saved. Uh, we're we're saving Cosmog Lily. Now, I want to go home. I want to go to bed and wake up because I want to go get my Route Two encounter, and then I think after that encounter we'll be able to end this episode there. Um, but let's see. Especially right after that great battle. Ooh, boy. Yes. We, we we did it right. We did it the right way, Mom. Yeah, night, night. Sleep sleep tight. Good, goodbye. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. whoop -a bum So, all kinds of awesomeness. The next day. Pokemon moons. What beautiful weather. I know, right? There we go. It is now officially nighttime. Uh, Professor Kukui... What do you want? What are you doing in my? Oh no! I actually got to the door this time. Wait, it's it's Lily this time, isn't it? It is Lily. It is in fact a Lily. Okay, so Lily, she's gonna walk past us. Blah blah blah. Mom is giving us some money. Thank you, mom, for the free money. I really appreciate you. Hi, Lily. It's nice to meet you, too. Lily is so adorable. Enjoy yourself out there with Marshadow. Yes, I will, Mom. Oh, yes, I will. You you can bet your sweet flower dress worm, but I will. I will see you there. All right, Lily. I'm, I'm going to go to Route 2, though. No, not... What? What? Why? I wanted to go to Route 2. <sighs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. I wanted my first encounter. But I guess we're going to have to get our first encounter on Route 3. So... Just me. Or wait, is she going to go... Wait, doesn't she go through the grass now? If, yeah, if she disappears, can't I go up and go to Route 2? Yes? Yes, I can go. I can I can has route three. No, nope. oh my god, fine. I just want route two. I don't want route three. Cause I want something weak, weaker than this poor sap. What is this kid? Let's go kneecaps. I'm sorry. What? Kneecaps. Okay. So we got an ace trainer, Kevin. Who has an unknown? Okay, well, unknown S. 
is about to get wrecked by some Shadow Sneaks. That's whatever. Shadow Sneakies. Oh, yeah. That, that's how it's done. Puppet Master grew to level 9. Not bad at all. And we defeated Ace Trainer Kevin. Goodbye, Kevin. Alright, guys. First encounter hype. Let's see what it is. Oh, we didn't get anything. Oh. Okay. Um. Does this mean we can completely... Yep, we can completely ignore the encounter on Route 3. Calm down, music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Youngster Madison, this is the most important battle of your life. Oh, you've got the non-Alolan Executor right now. Okay. So then this one's just Grass Psychic, and this thing does not want to take some Shadow Sneaks. Oh my god, that Technician Shadow Sneak. Oh my god. That music! It constantly scares the butts out of me. Now, I do have a timer next to me, which is partially why I'm going off of that. Um, I did forget I have to take a couple minutes off because I had to go take, uh, I had to go look at the time on my 3DS. So, we're gonna, we're gonna actually go to about a couple minutes over. So we're gonna just pretty much blaze straight through this cutscene, go straight to Route 2 if we can, because um, I really want to save Route 3's encounter for later. Um, I want to do Route 3's encounter in the next episode, not this one. Um, I want to, or not, yeah, I want to get Route 1. Route 2 or Route 1? I can't remember. Anywho, at the end of the day, I just want to get our first encounter from Route 1, because, I mean, why not? Like, why, why would you get your first encounter anywhere else but Route 1? So I want to be able to get um, I want to be able to get that encounter now, and then we'll come back and get this one later. Hopefully, if we can get through the grass without having any en encounters, that'd be amazing. That'd be seriously amazing to be able to get through there. Oh, what's wrong, Lily? What is wrong, Lily? Please, please don't uh, don't discourage yourself and put that crazy skill of rodents to work and make the rodent Pokédex. It's so cool. Oh, it's so cool, it's a Game Boy Luke Dex. Oh my gosh. I know, name drops. Hi. How y'all doing? Uh, sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you. Yup. Yup, look at the Rotom. Look, Rotom doesn't know what it's doing. It's like, gzzz. Rotom has no idea what it's doing. And then, voila, you put it in a Pokedex, and it learns English. Look at it. Now it's talking to me. Oh, jeez, it knows English now. Why? I don't know why it does that. It, oh god, there was a cat next to me. Thank you very much for giving me the Rotom Dex. Your Rockruff is adorable. Um, your Corsola and Love Disc are pretty cool too. And hi, Hal. Alola. What are you doing here, Hal? Please, don't care this don't scare the stuffle and this the the um oh god, what's his name? What's its name? Snubble. So it's been years since I've actually physically seen a Snubble, so I kind of forgot its name for how, like half a second. Anywho, the important part is that we do the island challenge uh, and become the strongest trainer around the island challenge champion, which would be great to become the island challenge champion. Not sure we're going to be able to do that. This being a randomizer, we could die at any second. I want you and Marshadow to, to get out there and give it a shot. I will. I will 100% get out there and give it my shot. Or give it my best strengths. Oh yeah. As someone who's dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge. Hey! And now we get this cool charm too. Why not? Thank you for the cool charm. That's going to go on my backpack right there. It's like, yeah. It's super cool. So you got one from your Gramps too? All right. We will definitely be going to get a move on. All right, he wants us to go to, go to the trainer school. So we're going to leave 
Professor Kukui's house as soon as we possibly can. As soon as we possibly can. Okay, so we're gonna leave. We're gonna try to avoid route two. Or we're, um, we're gonna try to avoid this route. We're going to attempt to avoid all this. Because I don't want this encounter yet. I don't encounter anything! Ah, no! Oh, frick. What is it? What is it? Oh, Zangoose! That's actually not bad. I'll catch that. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna get it. Zangoose? Oh. I can't weaken it. Marshadow will absolutely destroy its face. Ooh. Or no, I can use Pursuit. Pursuit won't kill it. I don't think. No. Yeah, Pursuit definitely won't kill it. Alright, we'll go for the bag. And we'll use a uh, Pokeball. Come on, Zangoose. One. Two. Three. No, it escaped! Come on, you can't do that to me, Zangoose. Get in the ball. I weakened you enough. Professor Kukui taught me how to catch Pokemon. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I can't weaken you any further. You will die. You get one more Pokeball. I promise you, that's all you're getting. Okay, cool. Awesome. Whoo, buddy. Okay. So, Zangoose has been captured. What am I going to nickname this thing? Um, you know what? I'm actually going to nickname it after one of my favorite moves it ever had. Uh, which was Crush Claw. So, I'm just, just going to nickname it Crush. So, Crush has been added to the team. Boom, ba-dum, ba -dum. So we'll go ahead and add. Zangoose. Yes, I'm doing live editing. Sue me. There. So Crush has been added to the team. I'm pretty happy about that one. So I can go up this route over and go to the Pokemon. Yes, because I want to be able to buy some more Pokeballs. Alright guys, so we are now in the Pokemon Center. I went ahead and just walked right in here, talked to Lily. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So guys, I will see you all in the next episode of the Pokemon Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke. This episode, we got Marsh or Marshadow and we got Zangoose. Can't wait to see what episode 2 holds for us. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already because this is an amazing Let's Play. I can't wait to, you know, actually get in and get started 100%. So guys, I will see you all next time. Peace and take care.